My friends, welcome to the cities and your new cathedral. And now that you have all dutifully stood, may I ask you to be seated. <laughs> it is truly exhilarating for the first time to see this cathedral church in honor of Our Lady the Angels filled with people. This is what it's all about. I would like to extend a very special welcome to my brother cardinals, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and laity of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and a very special welcome to Archbishop Gabriel Montalvo, our Holy Father's personal representative to the United States. This is a very historic day for the Archdiocese and for the city of Los Angeles, and I am pleased that you are all here to share in the graces of this special moment. A nuestros hermanos y hermanas de habla hispana, yo quiero extender un saludo muy especial no, so, no solamente los que están aquí presentes, pero también los que están mirando en la televisión o escuchando en la radio. Favor de unirse con nosotros en este momento en la celebración de la dedicación de su nueva catedral. At the end of our dedication mass, I will express my gratitude to all who helped make the new cathedral possible, but at this time, I would like to single out one special person, the man whose artistic genius and architectural imagination has given us the, the design for the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Professor Ra Jose Rafael Moneo has given the entire church a new path down which to travel in cathedral building for many decades and centuries to come. Please join me in recognizing the brilliance of his gift to the church and to this archdiocese, and in thanking him for such a splendid house of worship for our living God. Raphael, please stand. Our Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, has designated a papal envoy as well as two members of the official pontifical mission uh, for this event. Those accompanying the papal envoy are Monsignor Lloyd Torgerson and Monsignor John Barry, two pastors of the Archdiocese who have been with us uh, since the very first days. And now it is a great joy to introduce and present His Eminence Cardinal James Francis Stafford, the President of the Pontifical Council for the Laity in Rome, who will now read for us the special message which our Holy Father has sent to us on this joyous occasion. To my venerable brother, Cardinal Roger Michael Mahoney, Archbishop of Los Angeles. With affection and joy in our Lord Jesus Christ, I send greetings to you and your auxiliary bishops, to the priests, deacons, religious, and lay faithful of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, and to all gathered for the dedication of the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Fifteen years ago, in 1987, I stood among you in your former cathedral of St. Vibiana. Today, in the year of our Lord, 2002, I am with you once again in the person of my special legate, Cardinal James Francis Stafford, President of the Pontifical Council for the Laity, 
as you dedicate your new cathedral to Our Lady of the Angels. On this happy occasion, I make my own the words of St. Paul with a slight adaptation. To all the beloved of God in Los Angeles, called to be holy, grace to you, and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostle reminds us that we are called to be holy. This, in fact, is the clarion call of the Church in every age, and especially so at the beginning of the third Christian millennium. It is a call that must ring out loud and clear from this cathedral, for it is here that the people of God will gather around the, so the altar of sacrifice in fellowship and pray in worship, the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is here that they will be sustained and strengthened in their lives of faith through the celebration of the sacraments, most especially the sacraments of reconciliation and of the Eucharist. It is here that they will continue to be built like living stones into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The call to holiness is addressed not to just a few select, but to all. In striving to respond to this call to love God and to do His will, we embark upon a journey totally sustained by grace, which nonetheless demands an intense spiritual commitment and is no stranger to painful purifications. On this journey, we have no greater model and advocate than our Lord's own beloved mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is especially honored in this cathedral, dedicated to her under the title of Our Lady of the Angels. Just as in heaven, the myriad angels in their various orders all come together under the queenship of the one woman, Mary, so, in the city of the angels, the myriad peoples, with the wonderful variety of their cultures and traditions, all come together in the one body of Christ and gather to praise God in the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. May this cathedral always remain an eloquent symbol of the communion and fraternity, of mutual respect and understanding. May it be an enduring monument to Christian faith, hope, and love, to Christian holiness. My fervent prayer, then, is that Our Lady will be your sure guide today and always as you seek to do what Jesus tells you. May those who enter this house of prayer reflect on Mary's example of holiness and treasure in their hearts the mystery of salvation and God's boundless love for all people. To those taking part in the various dedication activities and to all the faithful of the, of the archdiocese, I willingly impart my apostolic blessing as a pledge of grace and peace in our Lord Jesus Christ. From Castel Gandolfo, August the 5th, 2002, Ioannis Paulus Secundus.